Hello, this is Marvelous Action Figures, and I'm Paul, and this is a Marvelous Action Figure, but part of me wants to smash it to bits. This is really weird, and I'll tell you why. So this is the 3-0 Transformers MDLX Starscream, another beautiful-looking non-transforming Transformer from 3-0, but it's Starscream, and in the comics, and in the cartoons when I was a kid, he's a sniveling little weasel, and he killed Megatron, and Megatron's the best, after Optimus Prime. So... I don't like Starscream as a character, but I've got to say, I absolutely love this figure. And as the first of the Seekers to be released with Skull on his way, I thought I'd take a good in-depth look at him, cover what we've got with the character here, and get into the detail of why I do think this is actually a marvellous action figure. So without further ado, let's break down the detail and let's see what we've got with old Starscream here. So before we get into articulation, I'm going to talk about accessories because a lot of these are quite integral to the way the character articulates. So here we have them all, lay, all laid out. Some really cool stuff. So we have his wing cannons, uh, his wing blades. We have uh, three extra pairs of hands along with the ones that come along with it as well. We have these null cannons here. There is this second faceplate which swaps out to give a slightly more robotic and neutral look to Starscream. This one's a, it's a little bit, it's not smiley as such, but it's a little bit too nice. I really wanted that whinging Starscream face. And then you've got a beautiful, beautifully uh, incredible paint application detail here on his wings pack as well, which is, looks absolutely phenomenal. So I'm going to set these on to the figure and then we'll see how it all breaks out. Starting at the top, let's look at the head articulation and it is unbelievable. It's so good. Full range of motion up, down, twisted to the side. It, 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 it's almost on like a little pivot joint. So it moves so, so well. You can get all sorts of angles to it. Really, really good. You've got great pose on the arms. You can just need to maneuver these up into shape, looking out for the wings on the back. But you can get a really high T pose on those. It goes up there beautifully well which is great for when you've got them doing obviously aerial shots and, and flying. And then coming down, as you'd expect from Free Zero with these brilliant articulate figures, you've got a full double elbow bend here, which I'll just maneuver up. There you go. Awesome double elbow bend on in there, which is tremendous. Really, really well thought of and a real clever design. You can get on all these MDLX, to be honest. It's really well thought of. There's a pretty sweet twist at the torso as well, which is fantastic. And you can get a bit of an ab crunch forward as well, which is more about the pivots at the top of the hips. You've got full double knee bend uh, on the back. Obviously, they're quite chunky legs there because he would be in his uh, parts of the, the jet there, sort of turbines. So you can get a really good double bend. Again, it stands fantastically well. It's a really, really solid looking figure. Beautiful articulation. Now, coming to the bits and accessories that came with it. So these are the wing blades. So you can use these within the hands as well as weapons, which I will do later on. And these clip on the back. There's a little groove on the top of the uh, blade there. And that sits in. So you see, get the pointing at the right angle. So that sits in and adds that extra cannon detail uh, to the back of the figure. I have clearly got this one the wrong way round. Um, so I need to just let it go again. There you go. Um, so the right way round is now. And then you sit it on at the right angle. So it's pointing out to it. And again, it looks phenomenal. It just adds these little icing on the cake details to the back of it it's beautiful so the null cannons that he comes with as well so these pop into my pro tip here is you can use them as weapons they pop into the hands pop them in first and then fit them to the to the arm um, at the top of the arm here you've got this insert this peg insert and the cannons sit so snug beautifully in there and again the icing on the cake the details that go with this are just phenomenal so they sit in there beautifully beautifully well and again all these extras just make him look an absolute glorious beast of a figure such an impressive looking figure so uh, I'm going to put these wings back on. That's the one thing to keep an on, actually. They do just pop back in on double pegs. I didn't have them secure enough, but they are really snug when they're in. So let's have a look now how we articulate. So now he's all weaponed up. Let's get him in some flight poses. And again, it's so smooth articulation. You really do get your bang for your buck with the figure. I'll just put the hand back on there. That's what I was saying about put the weapons in first. We're going to do that. But they do fit in nice and snug. Very easy to manoeuvre. Um, the poses... 
fantastic obviously this is a jet so he's a seeker so i want to get him up in the air and he articulates really really well so say so i'll be looking forward to getting some actual flight poses get a bit creative with some of the flight poses but there's a real solid look to him just a stunning looking figure i was a bit worried initially that the gray might not actually look the best on it could have been a little bit more white effect to it but actually that would have made him look a bit too much like jet fire so this um gray works really really well very much in keeping with the character and with that blue and red it's a beautiful looking figure so poses superbly what i'll do now i'm going to scale him up against some of the other mdlx range and let's see how he looks against some of these other characters Let's start him with Optimus Prime, and unfortunately, my disappointment with this Optimus Prime continues. He's just a little bit too small. He should be the most imposing. But as you can see, Starscream just sits slightly ahead of him, and that is effectively because the jet turbines on the back of his feet give him that extra bit of lift on the front bit. So he does sit a bit higher than Prime. The great colour scheme together, they look excellent, but for me, he just sits a little bit too high, and that is the fault of the Prime figure, not the star screen figure so we need a bigger optimus prime please three zero now we're a bit more in keeping here with rodimus prime that height size looks a lot better i'm very very happy with this actually i think that looks great considering he was obviously hot rod before um and he became rodimus prime so i do think this works well these two do look great together that's much more in keeping with what i would expect from a size comparison and i think that works really really well Let's finish off the Autobot comparison with uh, Bumblebee. Um, again, that's about right. As I've uh, put him up with other figures in other videos, that's absolutely about a right to me. That's exactly the right sort of size and scale I would expect for these two. So very, very pleased with the way these look. And those colour schemes are beautiful. They just sing together. I'm going to finish him up with his boss. Come on, Megatron. Smash this star screen to pieces. I can't believe he killed you. Anyway, that's a great comparison. This comic book edition is just a glorious looking figure, glorious looking figure, works brilliantly well with Starscream, maybe could be slightly higher, but actually at the right perspective, when they're scaled up in the right posing angles, Megatron looks pretty imposing over Starscream, so really, really happy with the way these two look, a good Decepticon set there. All right, that is it, my cool dudes. Thank you very much for checking out this video. I do hope you've liked this look at Starscream. I think it is a marvellous action figure. Really, really happy with it. A great addition to the collection. Can't wait to see how we get Skywarp looking and then Thundercracker as we complete the Seekers, hopefully this year, I would imagine. Um, that's it. If you've liked this video, give a little like and subscribe. Thank you very much. And if you are already, you know I like you. So thank you so much. I genuinely appreciate it. And that is it. I'm obviously going to leave you with a little montage here of Starscream in all his Decepticon glory. So thanks for checking out this video. I'll see you on another one soon. Bye for now.